Hello, guys. This what? Um, this is the Stanley Parable. I literally just launched it. And, um, let, uh, <laughs> let's go. Yes, I've seen. Pause it until, uh, oh, no, wait. Maybe. This okay. is the story of a okay. man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big mm -hmm. building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. Mm -hmm. He sat at his desk in room 427 mm -hmm. and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders Sick. came to him through a monitor on his desk. Oh. Telling him what buttons to push. Living the life. To push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month mm -hmm. of every year. Okay. But although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished yeah. every Sick pick, mate. that the orders came in. Oh man. Though he had been made exactly. Whoa. Job, What's happening? Was happy. What? And oh. then one day oh. something very peculiar happened. Okay. Something that would forever change Stanley. Okay. Something yeah. he would never quite forget. Mm hmm He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. Really? He realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Whoa, no dude. No one had showed up to give him instructions. That's crazy. Or a meeting. Or even say hi. Uh -huh. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Oh, in the Something game. Something was very clearly in wrong. the game. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Wow. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, oh. he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Where was the camera that was there? Wasn't there like a camera there? Ooh, look. Oh, doing these squats. Mm, mm, mm. Oh man, I want to massive thighs in no time. This cup say? Hate Mondays, yeah? Okay. Sick pencil sharpener, mate. That sounds that looks good. Where's the door 430? All these oh. were gone. What could it mean? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Yes. Click a door five times. Is yes. that all that you think an achievement is worth? Yes. No, 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 no. I can't just yes. give these merits away for such give a it me. A measly Give it to me. Give it to me. I want now, this achievement. You were to click the door 20 times. I give would it. say that's the kind of effort that warrants Come on. Give me this achieve. Hmm. I want it. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for you a go? cause. So what you want? 50 clicks will do it. 50? Yes, almost certainly 50 you, clicks. You... You joke. Fi what? Screw, mm, screw that. I'm just gonna... Look at this. See, see what's going on here. Just gonna walk. What does this say? Oh, okay, yeah. Same. What? Okay. Sick. That's, that's a nice leaf there. Um... I want to go out there, but doesn't doesn't look like I can. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, mm -hmm. he entered the door on his left. Uh, okay, I'll go. Okay. Two sixty. Oh, I can't jump. Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh wow! Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, really? hoping he might find an answer there. Synergize the core value. Shift global market. Okay, I don't know what these mean. Ooh. Free to play, hmm. Okay. Um, that post-it needs help. Right here. He's a post-it. Uh, oh. Okay. I'm the most unique. I want... Oh! <gasps> Stanley Sweet. stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So There's he turned around and got back on track. I don't believe this guy. There's something here. I'm gonna step back in here. Nah. Okay. Let's go. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nah. Walking down there. Thought I walked downstairs, sucker. All these scripts. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. 
Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, mm -hmm. why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Yeah. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He all of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out what? of existence in a single was just here for no reason at all none of it made any logical sense I was just here and as Stanley pondered this he began to 11, make other strange observations for example why couldn't he 11, see his 12. feet okay. when he looked down what why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went this is so weird and for that matter What's these happening? rooms were starting to look pretty familiar were they simply repeating? What happened the car room? Stanley said to himself, This is all too strange. This can't be real. <sighs> Come on. Last, he came to the 11, 12. So that it's the same. The tip of his tongue. He yeah. just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. What is this? He yelled. This is all a dream. What? Oh, what a relief what is Stanley it? felt to what? have finally found an answer, an explanation. There's a bunch of birds in here going to town. He no. wasn't going to lose his Give job. Give it to me. Give it to me. He wasn't me drink. Crazy after all. Need that. And he thought that purple himself, drink. I suppose I'll no, I guess not. soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, what does he it say? imagined himself uh, I don't know. and began to gently float above the ground. No way. Then he oh. imagined himself soaring through space Whoosh. on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so Whoosh. much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Do, 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 How do, do, was he do. remaining so lucid? What? And then perhaps the strangest question of the morning. I'm gonna squat rock. Stanley's oh yeah. Mm. Build up them thighs. Amazed, he hadn't <laughs> asked himself sooner. Oh yeah. Build them thighs up. Oh yeah. Head, dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking. Am I still floating? Now the voice so. was describing itself being considered by Stanley, <laughs> who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming oh my about God. a voice describing <laughs> this game. Me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And okay. when he thought it all okay. very Back odd, in the door. and wondered if this okay. voice spoke to all no, people God, in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, she had a crowd truck everywhere. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing no. that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock. This is so weird. What's happening right After now? All, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How this else must the voice be a dream. All that? This what voice else could was a it part be? Of himself too, surely. 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 If he could just He would prove it. Yeah. He would prove that prove he it. was in control. Let's that this do was it. a dream. Control yourself. So he closed his eyes. Come on, gently. Stanley. And he invited himself okay. to wake up. I can't. He <laughs> felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Cool. The press of the mattress on his back. Yeah. The fresh air of a world outside the uh -huh. sun. Let so me wake up. Let he thought to himself. Wait. I'm through with this dream. So is this guy some kind of like meditation over. expert? Let me go back to my job. He's gonna wake up. Let and he's me gonna continue be in the pushing the buttons. Please. Let's see. It's all I want. Is he I want my apartment. And my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Okay. My life is normal. I am normal. Not really. Everything will be fine. No, no. I don't think so. I am okay. Is he? Heh! <laughs> I knew it. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me oh. up. My name is Stanley. I have a oh. boss. I have an office. Help I'm me. real. Please, just someone oh. tell me I'm real. I must be real. I must be real. Can <laughs> and everything went black. <gasps> oh, I died. That's it. I got 420 dank scoped. This is the story oh, of what? a woman named Mariella. What? Ooh, gender switch. Mm. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Okay. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. She sounds normal. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man <laughs> who had stumbled through town talking. Oh and my god! <laughs> and 
then collapsed dead <laughs> on the sidewalk. He's dead. And although she would soon turn get to get an ambulance, oh man! Just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. They no scoped him. He was obviously crazy. That sick 420 knew. spin, no scope Everyone action. Everyone knows what crazy people look like, and in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. <laughs> I am sane. I am in control of my mind. Are you? I know what is real and what isn't. I mean, it was comforting to think this. Was it? <laughs> <in a> certain <laughs> way, I don't know, man. This game is better. I think I got the... the meeting she had scheduled for that day. I think I got the crappy there ending. Important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension uh -huh. the rest of her life. So, she had no time for this. So, by me going downstairs, she stood there staring down at the body. I changed this and woman's she life. And ran. Holy crap. What? I changed her life, guys. This is insane. Oh, man. Oh. Uh. I'm gonna end off this episode here since I got freaking deaded. I don't know. He must have not. He must have drank too much coffee or something. But yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um. I don't know. I want to make this a series, but. Uh. I don't know. But. Peace, guys.